that's no moon. It's a Chinese-Russian moon base, and it could determine the future of space. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. There's a new space force in orbit, and this one is being led by China and Russia. But first, YouTube frequently demonetizes the show. If you can, help support our work for as little as a dollar an episode on patreon.com slash China Uncensored. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so the almighty YouTube algorithm may smile upon us. So as I said, Russia and China are teaming up, this time to build a moon base. That's one small step for man, one giant leap into a dystopian future. I'm kidding, of course. The Russia-China moon base is for peaceful purposes, in the interests of all mankind. That's according to this joint statement from China and Russia. And just when the world needed him most, Elon Musk vanished. The two countries have also signed agreements to jointly create a data center for the exploration of the moon and deep space. The base will be built on the lunar south pole. That's because scientists believe there might be a lot of ice there, and ice could serve as a water supply. There also might be an orbital part of the moon base as well. The base will be called the International Lunar Science Station. International because China and Russia want to lure the rest of the world in so they can replace the U.S. as the dominant space force. It's a real possibility, too. The European Space Agency has also expressed interest in partnering with China on future missions to the moon. As early as last year, China was talking about a moon base. And in 2019, China was the first country to land a probe on the dark side of the moon. Unfortunately, the probe was quickly refracted into a rainbow. NASA has excluded China from all U.S. space operations. That's because China's space program is run by the Chinese Communist Party's military. Although now, Biden's space advisors are saying we should cooperate with China. They are officially space cadets. U.S. dominance of space has been slipping for decades, and Russia and China are eager to replace the U.S. Not only would that have a huge impact on future space explorations, but also on security here on Earth. China is already trying to replace the GPS navigation system, which is run by the U.S., and they've launched their own satellites to do it. So whoever controls space will be the next superpower. The Biden administration has said it will continue the Trump-era Artemis program to return to the moon. Former Vice President Mike Pence had said the U.S. would return to the moon by 2024. To get there, NASA created the Artemis program in 2017, and it laid the groundwork for international cooperation in space. International cooperation with the U.S. NASA also created the Artemis Accords in 2020, and they've been signed by 10 countries. The accords say that partner nations need to agree to 10 basic norms as part of their space activities, such as operating transparently and releasing scientific data. Those are things that China and Russia maybe aren't too keen on, being authoritarian regimes and all. And can't believe I'm saying this, but I really agree with state-run Global Times on this one. When they say Russia opting for moon-based cooperation with China over the U.S. is not surprising. And now, as a thank you to everyone who supports China Uncensored on Patreon, I'll answer a question from what I call the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. p Dog asks, Doesn't the CCP already control the value of the RMB within China? They are just reinventing bank accounts and debit cards. Uh, this was in response to our recent episode about China declaring war on Bitcoin. Essentially, the Chinese Communist Party is trying to create its own national digital currency. Now, P-Dog, you're right that China already controls the value of the RMB. But that's not enough for the Communist Party. Over the past several years, China has been transitioning to becoming a cashless society. That gives the government way more power to monitor and track every transaction Chinese people make. It also lets them freeze the accounts of dissidents. Sure, there are tools to do most of that already, but it involves piecing together lots of different systems, including coordinating with different Chinese companies. 
but with the digital currency, it's so much easier. Globally, however, the US dollar still dominates. In fact, a lot of China's Belt and Road Agreements operate using the dollar. China wants to have the dominant global currency. The RMB is unlikely to do that. But countries around the world are experimenting with a national digital currency. Yet no major power is as far along as China. Its early moves could signal where the rest of the world goes with digital currencies. So China's ambition is much greater than just controlling the RMB. And if that terrifies you, now's a good time to remind you that China Uncensored also accepts Bitcoin. Go to ChinaUncensored.tv slash support. Thanks for your question, p Dog, And thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.